the aquatic ecosystem could give our food chain a helping hand. The demand for food is rising and more sustainable production systems are needed. That's why Europe is opening up to the algae sector. Humans have been eating microalgae for a long time, but attention is now turning to their smaller cousins, microalgae, for their nutritional potential. The company, All Microalgae in Pataeus, Portugal, is developing algae-based applications for foods like cookies, bread, snacks and spreads. Food engineer Annabella Ramundo works for the University of Lisbon and helps develop these microalgae products. It is extremely important to find alternative food sources which are sustainable and also of nutritional benefit to people. Microalgae are extremely important ingredients because they are rich in both protein and bioactive compounds and therefore they are an extremely important source of nutrition and can be used in lots of food. There are thousands of species of algae living both in freshwater and seawater. Larger are called macroalgae and they make up 20% of all species. The remaining 80% is made of microalgae. These single cells begin their journey to become a source of food in this laboratory, in these flasks that contain a liquid culture. Every microalgae has varying nutritional value, but two of the most popular for human consumption are chlorella and spirulina. In this lab, we do the analytics that allow us to evaluate whether the growth in the photobioreactors is going well or not. We need to know what happens inside the cell to determine the total protein value and the magnesium consumed within the nutrient medium. We also check the iron and several micro and macronutrients that are essential to the culture and that allow the algae to optimise its nutrient consumption. Algal cultivation requires exact procedures in order to achieve abundant biomass yields. Traditional yeast, like the one used to make beer, activates the fermentation process. Then the culture is injected into large photobioreactors, where it grows until it reaches the right quality standard. There is a seed, an inoculum, that inoculates another reactor, which contains a larger volume every time. We do this until we have a significant amount to process. The processing is meant to give us a concentrate of cells. Then we can either produce a concentrated paste for the aquaculture market, for example, or we can make a powder that can be used as an ingredient or food supplement. The food industry's interest in microalgae is rising quickly due to new consumer habits, sustainability of production, but also for health reasons. Our plant-based protein production will allow us to go into different dietary areas, not just vegetarian and vegan. There is also a very interesting element that hasn't yet been developed, clinical and medical food, for people who are sick and who have difficulties eating high-protein products. Under the EU's farm-to-fork strategy, the Commission is looking to unlock the full potential of the algae industry by the middle of 2022.